morning, CGA members, honored guests, fellow graduates, family and friends. On behalf of all the graduates, I would like to thank you for joining us today on this significant occasion. A Chinese philosopher stated that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. When many of us began our studies in the CGA program, it seemed like a thousand mile journey. But we took that first step, then another, and another, until we have finally reached the end of the journey. It took hard work, determination, persistence, and sacrifice. Some students came from other countries, I think most of them, adding the struggles of conquering a new language and adjusting to a new culture to the other challenges of pursuing a professional education. Some of us are relatively young, just starting our careers and our lives. Many of us are a little older, well seasoned in the struggles of life, education, career and family. But we have all reached the destination we set out for in that very first step, becoming a certified general accountant. We have persevered through adversity and are now beginning to reap the rewards of our labors. I took my first CGA course in 1992. At that time, we completed our assignments by hand and mailed them in. There was no such thing as the internet or email or web-based learning. At the time, I had a three-month-old, sorry, a three-year-old child and an eight-month-old baby and was working full-time while my husband was a full-time student. I'm not sure how I did it. I took CGA courses for the next couple of years until my third child came along when I decided to stay home and focus on the family for a while. Then in 2002, when my youngest son was starting school, I decided it was time to recommence the, the journey and I reapplied to the program. And so I completed the CGA program as well as my degree over the next eight years, one course at a time. It seems like a long time ago, and yet it has gone so quickly, and now I have to look up to my children. My story is not unique. The CGA program of professional studies has been structured with the flexibility to allow us all, no matter our personal circumstances, to pursue our chosen education path and to develop as professionals. For this, I am profoundly grateful, and I feel privileged to now bear the title of CGA. John Ruskin, a 19th century British naturalist and advocate for social justice, stated, the highest reward for a person's toil is not what they get for it, but what they become by it. Over the last several years, we have not only learned a great deal, but we have also been transformed into the people we are today. This is truly a great reward. Along our journey, we had many who assisted and supported us, including parents, spouses, children, instructors, and employers. On behalf of us all, I thank you for your support. We could not have done it without you. Personally, I would like to thank my husband, Grant, and my sons, Spencer, Brandon, Jesse, and Riley, for their patience when I sometimes lost mine, and for allowing me the time to complete assignments and study and study and study some more. I won't mention how many times I strongly suggested in a completely calm and patient manner, of course, that they turn down the music so I could study. Our CGA course instructors and markers have taught us well and provided valuable feedback as we've struggled to understand difficult concepts and master the subjects of accounting, audit, finance, and tax. Most recently, we have attended seminars and passed our professional applications examinations. We express a huge thank you to all the instructors who guided us along the way. Some of us were lucky enough to also have support of our employers. Some of them have supported us financially by paying our tuition. They have supported us by recognizing our achievements and celebrating our successes. They have mentored us by providing opportunities for learning and growth, and they have shown us by their examples what it means to be a professional. We thank you for all you've given and taught us. 
I would be remiss if I did not also acknowledge divine help. After doing all I could to prepare for an examination, prayer and faith also played a role in my success, as I'm sure it did for many of you. I actually said a little prayer most of the time when I was right in the middle of an exam, and I'm even praying now. Finally, I want to thank all of you. We have also helped each other through online discussions, study groups, and seminars, and have developed lasting friendships along the way. This is another great reward that we have received from our journey. Now that we have achieved this, at times, seemingly unsurmountable goal, where do we go from here? Albert Einstein said, strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. Today is a celebration of our success, but we must now go forward striving to be of value, to make a contribution to our profession and to society. The opportunities before us are virtually limitless and exist in many fields. Some of us will choose public accounting. Others will pursue one of any number of fields in industry. Some will work for government or not-for-profit organizations. No matter what career path we choose or how many turns that path may take, we have developed the tools to succeed. Wherever CGAs go, they bring the technical skills, professionalism, and ethics they, we have developed through our education and work experience. We must continue to bring credit to the profession and to the CGA brand. We owe a great debt to those who have helped us get to this point, and now it is our duty and opportunity to pay it forward by becoming the mentors to current and future CGA students and others we come in contact with. It is our turn to be the teachers and the examples in our workplaces. It is our turn to provide encouragement and guidance to those who follow us on the journey. There are many opportunities to volunteer and I encourage us all to get involved in whatever area suits our respective abilities and schedules. Most importantly, we must be ambassadors for the letters we now carry behind our names. Fellow graduates, remember the journey you have taken. Rejoice in your success. Realize that while one journey has ended, another has just begun, one that will last much longer than the thousand mile journey you have already completed. Once again, thank you all for your contributions to our success and for supporting us on this day. Congratulations again to the 2010 graduates. Celebrate this day, carry your CGA designation with pride. Thank you.